Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. Here we'll take a look quickly how to use listener object or listener callback of Riverpod and how we can use it to leverage our navigation in our app. Now first, let us take a look at this auth state notifier provider. Auth state notifier provider is composed of auth notifier and auth state. Now auth state actually has some register states over here like initial loading failure and a success. Now each of the state actually is a triggered inside this auth notifier. Now of course auth notifier holds the same state over here using state notifier. So as this method gets called login user, so we emit different kind of states over here or we trigger different kind of states. So if the user is if the user has tapped on this button, then definitely we are gonna trigger this state and then we'll wait for events and if we fail actually we're gonna trigger auth state failure which is actually registered earlier over here as you can see from the code all right so we do have failure anyway then if the user actually successfully logs in and we get a good response or expected response back from the server we trigger auth state success all right now all the states are exposed to the UI using this auth state notifier provider. Now what we listen and how we listen. So first as I click on this button, this UI over here gets triggered. Eventually that means that user login, the function that is defined over here, which is this one, or login user gets triggered and it works in the backend and we keep listening. Of course for listening we have to pass our provider, so that's what we do. And if you hover over on this, you'll see that it says, okay, it needs a provider. We have a provider and we also have a listener object. What is this? Actually, it's a function. It's a callback function. As you listen, you can register a callback function and based on your listening condition, you can trigger different kind of things or navigation. So this is our callback function as you can see it from here. Now it takes two objects, previous and next. You can call them anything. It doesn't really matter. Most of the time, the interesting part is next. Now, one more time, this is our listener callback function. Anyway, so we listen to this next. Now, as we are listening, different kind of states are being emitted on the back end or in the, from the server side. We catch all the states. Now, remember earlier, we already seen that over here, we can have loading, failure, or success. So all we need to do, all, as all the states are emitted, we can grab them from this next object. So actually we can directly compare. We can listen whatever object is being emitted. So if next is equal to failure, we say that, okay, so something is wrong, go ahead and try it again. If the next is not failure, which is equally success, then we go to our dashboard screen. That's how it works. Now, of course, here I could change my password and then we'll see that the snack bar will pop up and we'll say that, okay, so we are not able to log in because the credential is invalid. But of course, if the password is correct, so from here we'll pop back to our dashboard screen. Yeah, so that's how it works. So the idea is if you have a provider, notify provider, you have to listen to that and notify provider should have states and those, those states should be emitted using your state notifier and as they are emitted, you can listen them inside this callback function from these two objects and all you need to do, you need to look for the correct state and when your correct state matches, you can navigate to anywhere you want and that's how it works. Thank you.